Shuttle Atlantis building the station and our future in space. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Right to roll, we're ready. Atlantis into the roll, the external tank camera placing the shuttle in a heads down wing with wings level position for that eight and a half minute ride to orbit. The Florida Space Coast is firing as uh, Atlantis moves into the correct azimuth for orbit. Thirty-three seconds into the flight, first condensation pouring over the top of the orbiter as the three liquid fuel main engines begin to throttle back in a three-step fashion to 72 percent of rated performance. Forty-nine seconds into the flight, Atlantis already two and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, throttling up. You are go and throttle up. Atlanta the throttle up call from Capcom Ken Ham, acknowledged by Commander Jeff Ashby, joined on the flight deck by pilot Pam Milroy, flight engineer Sandy Magnus, and mission specialist Pierce Sellers, Dave Wolf, and Russian cosmonaut Fyodor Yurchikin seated down on the mid deck. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. This view from long-range trackers at Playa Linda Beach, north of the Kennedy Space Center, and now the external tank camera view once again. Atlantis 11 and a half miles downrange, 17 miles in altitude, traveling 2,800 miles per hour. One minute, 45 seconds into the flight, about 20 seconds prior to solid rocket booster separation. 